This video will focus on how to calculate your potential to emit, an important parameter that determines if your facility is considered an EPA major source. If your facility is considered a major source, it would be subject to the Title V process, as it has the potential to emit higher concentrations of criteria pollutants than the levels established in the previous video. When you add generators to your site, your local permitting authority will want to know the facility's potential to emit. The potential to emit is defined as the amount of pollutant that the site can emit in a given year. The concept is best illustrated with an example. If your site has a 1,000 horsepower engine that emits one gram per horsepower hour, you would calculate your potential to emit by multiplying this one gram per horsepower hour by the nameplate 1,000 horsepower rating of your engine, and then by 8760, the number of hours in a year. This yields approximately 10 tons of NOx for this engine per year. If you have a site with multiple engines and other combustion equipment, you'll need to perform this calculation for each piece of equipment and add up the totals. If this total is greater than the major source threshold outlined in the previous video, you would require a Title V permit. For emergency generators, the EPA recognizes that it isn't practical to use 8760 hours in the potential to emit calculation, as the nature of emergency generators is not for day-to-day -day use. The EPA has provided a guideline of 500 hours to use for this calculation. That being said, the hours used in this calculation are up to your local air permitting authority. They often will accept 100 to 150 hours of use. It's very important to identify what value can be used for this calculation as it may significantly impact your permitting process. Being below the major source threshold for NOx is very advantageous as you could then avoid the Title V permit process. The next video will focus on the advantages to avoiding Title V permits and the idea of best available control technology or back.